Nicaraguan citizens are getting ready for presidential elections on November the 7th. We'll review the electoral context with our correspondent, Maria Jose Diaz. Jorge Luis Vargas has this typical food business based on yuca and pork. He, like many other Nicaraguans, trusts that elections will be held in a climate of peace. The hope is that elections are carried out peacefully since we must respect the decision of the Nicaraguan people and continue working. However, a sector of the population insists on discrediting elections. Some from abroad even urged to apply economic sanctions that aim at deteriorating even more the living conditions of citizens. The more sanctions they want against the government, the more the regular people suffer, because in the end, business people have their money and live comfortably and can go abroad, whereas the average poor Nicaraguan has to find a way to make a living every day. So we must rebuild a better Nicaragua. For the expert Bismar Sierro, the Nicaraguan people will go to the elections in an environment of peace. That's what I mean when I speak of a culture of peace, the programs that have been developed, socioeconomic programs so that people feel a certain ease and it's a way to give a referendum to the government and assure that we are with them. We know what you have done, so it's the first election where people express a sort of support to the programs, more than a battle among political parties. These are the six candidates fighting for the chair and the Electoral Supreme Council has assured to have it all ready for citizens to have full guarantee at the time of voting.